hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine third person shooter series so in this episode i'm going to show you how to create a decal material like this now as you can see here when i shoot on any surface like this you see that there is a decal spawned on that position so yeah I am going to show you how to create such a material to use with decals and it looks alright in all kind of surfaces a metal surface on tar surface on floor and yeah so for this one I have used this texture and this normal map I generated this normal map map for this texture and then I am spawning it uh, when I shoot with my gun so this is what I will be covering in this episode So for the impact base texture, I'm going to use this texture and I have generated a normal map using this uh, smart normal online website and created a normal map for that. And yeah, I have imported those two maps textures into my project. This and this. I'll rename it. Bullet for N normal and I'll create a material I'll call it MD cal and import these two textures into that now let's go here okay so first I have to do a couple of things select the main node or deselect everything in the material and for this material domain you have to select deferred decal and the blend mode should be translucent okay and now let's just connect this to the base color and connect this to the normal and for the opacity connect this alpha channel right so it's like this and apply and let's quickly create a decal here and see how it looks well this is too large oh no we have to select the texture we created md cal okay so this is how it looks let's make the size um, still too large but uh, this is enough to see how it looks on different surfaces maybe 20 okay right now this is how it looks when I shot on the ground now let's uh, duplicate this and place on this concrete barrier to see how it looks on a concrete surface right this is the way it looks and what about metal this is not metal this is wood Okay. 
okay so I'll duplicate this again and see how it looks on the metal surface like this okay now what do you think I think uh, this is okay but still um, we there is no way to get this color on a brown surface like this so yeah well, uh, first I'll promote these parameters uh, no I'll make a constant and set everything to 1 and here maybe instead of using this full texture I'll use only one color and desaturate it and see how it looks okay it looks like this but still I think it would be better if we have some transparency in between in these areas okay so maybe we should in uh, yeah we should not have this much of black so right let's uh, let's try adding a multiplier here and see how it looks now well okay now let's try changing that value right this is better yeah this is definitely better uh, but uh, not exactly okay uh, let's do something like this I'll duplicate this layer and keep only this area and invert and delete the rest in the copied layer so that I can keep this area completely black and I'll disable it for now and I need to reduce the transparency as I go further from the center how to do that yeah let's do a selection oh, not here in here like this and do a feather of maybe 30 pixels and delete I guess that's too much maybe 10 pixels still too much I think no let's not do it like that okay I'll duplicate this layer and select the black areas and do a invert selection and delete the rest okay now here 
I select all and do a feather of uh, eight, no, seven pixels and delete. All right. Now it looks like this. Okay. Now I'll save this to the same. and let's re-import it but it looks like this now so what if I increase the transparent say multiply to 1 ok I think this is enough this looks really doesn't look very nice because of the size mainly a bullet hole wouldn't look this big it would be mostly like this yeah and also let's do something like this here uh, let's do a lap no not this linear interpolate like this well not like this I'll use this one as the alpha and A is 0 and B is 0.2 and let's use that one as the color and apply okay this is better yeah now it also has the brown from the wood texture and the bullet hole okay right so now I can replace my decal I have used in the gun with the decal I created right here yeah for this I can use mdcal material and compile and play the game now this is the decal we just created Okay. So yeah, that's all for today. And I think I should uh, optimize this a little bit because it a uh, little bit.
black, a little bit dark, I think. Well, um, yeah, I think I'll just disconnect this part and increase uh, the transparent trim multi multiplier. I point five would be better. Let's see. Yeah, now it's not so dark like before. Sometimes you don't see the impact. I need to check that. But nothing is wrong with the decal material. It should be maybe about the tracing. So yeah, that's like this. Let's try on okay metal surface look uh, looks good okay on concrete also it looks all right yeah mm, okay Alright, so I think that's good enough. Yeah, so I'll stop this episode at this point. And uh, if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And thanks for watching. Uh, also, feel free to check my other tutorial series on rpg open world rpg project as well and see you in the next episode goodbye